Hello everyone, it is 9.39pm on the 9th of November 2018 and tonight I'll be reviewing Arizona Cowboy Cocktail Watermelon Flavour. So, I'm back again. It's, it hasn't been long this time and I'm pleased to say that I'm back on the drink reviews. This drink has been... I bought this not long after the, uh, the last drink review, which must have been months and months ago. But um, it's been in the fridge ever since, but I'm very pleased to get back to it. Also because I've been quite a fan of the Arizona, the Arizona brand of their green tea products and I'm pleased to get back to this one. Like one or two years ago I got really into like the, the brand that had like three flavours once or twice, like the, which were the original green tea with honey flavour, the blueberry white tea and the pomegranate green tea. But I guess this isn't actually a tea, it's just a cowboy cocktail. So I guess that means, and I've just realised this, I haven't planned this, I just realised this, that I guess it's not based on tea, it's based on just fruit juices. It does say, it's, the description is, refreshing drink with 10.1% fruit content. So that's pretty good for a soft drink, I like that. It's not, it's not like Ribena or anything, but it's good. Another thing I, like the, I love about the brand is just the packaging, it's amazing, like you can't beat the original green tea flavour with the nice blossom tree on the lovely background, it looks so nice, but this one is very nice as well, you've got like, they're not paintings, it's not a photograph, but it's in between, I guess it is a painting, but like these watermelons, like the, oh, there's chunks of pineapple, pear, mango and kiwi, I haven't noticed this before. There's little leaves on it, and it's just like here. It has like Native American, like I don't know feathers or like art. It looks like that's a guess. And, uh, just the packet is just amazing. On the bottom, you can see where that like classic bat finishes, and it goes to this, and it looks very murky. But that's actually just the the color of the plastic. The blood, the, the the bottle itself inside is brown, but we don't know what the liquid is, which is why I have the glass. So we can see. I'm just expecting it to be nice because I feel like this, the Amazon in front, the drinks aren't very really strong, but it's, it's not like Coca Cola. If you compare it to Coca Cola, it's really like a full on taste, but this one is more like, I guess it is less flavoursome. It's a bit more watery, but it's still nice. It's a bit more relaxing, I guess. It's not as intense flavour. So I guess, sadly, this is it. Sadly but happily, I'm going to have to break the packaging. Because that works. I hope it smells good and unlike the pomegranate green tea. Doesn't it says watermelon, it doesn't instantly remind me of watermelon, but it reminds me of something, but once again I can't remember what that is, the smell. It smells of cake. Like Victoria sponge or something, or lemon. This smells of lemon drizzle cake. I think. Um, the liquid. I looks currently kind of like milky white. I, I wasn't expecting that. Oh yeah, so it tells you the fruits that are going to be in it. It's got pear eight percent, watermelon one point four percent, pineapple zero point one, kiwi zero point one. So even though it's got them in. There's not a lot of it. Let's pour it in and see. So, the colour is like, it's red. It's red. 
which is, I guess, is what you associate with watermelon, but it's cloudy. Like I said, it's not as full on as like Fofo -fo Fola. I think that might also be because it's not carbonated. This isn't a carbonated drink, it's just still. Still, sorry. Um, I don't think it tastes of watermelon that much. I can more like taste the undertones of pineapple and pear. I guess that makes sense because there's much more pear juice than watermelon in it, which is sad. It's, it's kind of it's kind of like misleading to think say it's watermelon when it's mostly pear. It doesn't instantly remind me of um, watermelon, but it reminds me more of, like I said, it kind of like, I don't know why it just reminds me of cake. It's got that same flavour. But I love it. Anyway, I love it anyway. <laughs> I love it anyway. It's, I, I like it. I just, it's so refreshing, nice and cold. It's not too intense. Wood. Recommend. Uh, I think I bought this for like either one pound or one pound fifty. Which, if you compare that to Coca Cola, that's either like below average or slightly below average, slightly above average. So it's a it's an okay price for a special treat for what it is. Look at it. I I would recommend it. I'm pleased to be back. Um, series names. I, for a long time, I've had an idea of calling this series Soft Drink Surplus. And I think that I was going to do it. I've named the food series Student Food Review because I think that's what it is. That's what the food reviews encapsulates. It's a review of student food. But this is like, it's a, it's a surplus of soft drinks I have and I'm reviewing them. So I'd love to hear your feedback on that. I would, really. Um, that's all I've got for you today. I'll see you in the next one.